Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel The Tech Labs. This video is in continuation to my first video. Link is in the description. In this video I will show how you can configure Uptime Kumar's notifications. It has more than 90 notifications type that you can configure example like Discord, Telegram, email etc. In this video I will demonstrate to have notification on your own Discord server. And in case of any failure the errors are flashed on Uptime Kuma web interface and as well on Discord server. Please follow the video to know the configuration steps for Discord notifications. Install Discord server and login into it. Now create a server on the Discord dashboard. After server creation, select create channel from the drop down menu and give channel name as shown in the video. Again go to drop down arrow of server and select server settings. Now click on integrations. Now click on create webhook. Webhook is an easy way to get automated messages and data updates sent to a text channel in your server. Give custom name to the webhook and select channel name from the drop down list, then click on copy webhook URL. Now go to Uptime Kuma web interface dashboard. Go to settings, then click on notifications, then on setup notifications. Now select Discord from Notifications type and give a friendly name. Paste the webhook that was copied from the Discord server. Give bot display name and prefix custom message if you wish. Finally click on default enabled and switch on apply on all existing monitors. Then click on test to see sample test and finally click on save. You will see both message on Kuma web interface as well on Discord server's channel. Now I will go and unplug network cable from the printer, the printer and then again plug in. You will see both up and down notification on both interfaces. Let me arrange the display screen to see both notification at the same time. You can install Discord on your phone or any portable device and then can have live notifications add to your comfort. Next we will configure Telegram notification alert. Install and login Telegram. Search for Botfather in Telegram. Inside Botfather choose a name for your bot chat example slash new bot. Now give a name to new bot you want to create example like the tech labs underscore notifier. Next choose a username for your bot and make sure it ends with bot example the tech labs underscore bot. A congrats message will come with bot name and a token to access HTTP API will appear. Copy that token and click on your custom bot name. Start the chat session and type hi. At that custom bot chat session. This will enable your custom bot session. Now we have to create a new group and add that custom bot as member inside that group. We will now open up Time Kumar dashboard and go to settings. 
Set up notification. Now select notification type as telegram. Give friendly name and paste access token copied before to bot token field. Next click on the URL visible just below chat ID field. A page will open in browser and displays OK message. Type any message in the custom group created. And refresh the web page opened. This will display the chat ID. Copy that chat ID and paste this into the chat ID field in uptime kuma field. Now click on test. You will see test message at telegram in custom bot chat created. Now we will test the notification by simulating status failure in uptime kuma dashboard. Now next in the second part of this video, I will show how to monitor docker containers in uptime kuma. One thing to note that for docker container monitoring, uptime kuma should be running in docker environment. As currently standalone uptime kuma server is not supported for docker container monitoring. So now follow the video. I am using Portainer to manage Docker containers graphically. Login to Portainer and open Docker containers. Click on Uptime Kuma container. And click on Duplicate Edit. Now click on Volumes under Advanced Container Setting. Click on plus map additional volume to add a volume which enables uptime kuma to communicate with docker server. Follow the video for further steps. You'll see success message of modified uptime kuma container. Now login and open Kuma web interface and click on setting from dashboard. Click on docker hosts, again click on setup docker host. Give friendly host name and keep all setting as default and click on test and finally click on save to create docker host. You will see success message. Now click on add new monitor on dashboard. Select monitor type as docker container, give friendly name. In spite of name, please give container ID from portainer dashboard. Now select the docker host previously created from the drop down menu and finally click on save. Success message will display. Now I am simulating container failure by stopping the container and finally starting container for running status from portainer and both notifications will be flash on dashboard. In the same way we can create monitors for other container and have a single interface to monitor all statuses. I hope you like this video and this brings video to an end. Thank you to all for watching this video. If you really find this video helpful, do like and leave a comment. Also do not forget to share and subscribe channel to know when my new video is out. Thank you.